equations of a circle, standard, and general form. Circles are everywhere, and every circle can be described mathematically by either of two formulas. The first takes advantage of the Pythagorean theorem. The second formula applies either the standard form or general form for the equation. We will look at both formulas. Let's start with a circle on a graph. When you consider a circle on a coordinate graph is the set of all points equidistant from a center point, you can see that those points can be described as an x and y value on the graph. Move right or left so many boxes, that's the x value, and then move up or down, that's the y value. With the circle's center point also an x-y value, you can create a right triangle with the two sides of the x-boxes left or right from that center point and y-boxes up or down from that same center point. The radius of the circle, the distance from the center point to the circle itself, now becomes the hypotenuse for every possible right triangle for every possible point. A circle has infinite points since points are dimensionless positions in space. So at least in the pure science of mathematics, an infinite number of right triangles exist that satisfy a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And every one of them has a vertex comprised of the hypotenuse and one side of the triangle lying on the circle. The Pythagorean theorem shows a relationship between the two sides of a right triangle and its hypotenuse. Now let's find the equation of a circle. Here is a circular orbit of a satellite around Mars. We never want the satellite to hit Mars, but we do want to be close enough to see Martian features with radar, cameras, magnetometers, and lasers. To stay in one spot above a hypothetically spherical Mars, you need an orbital radius of 20,408 kilometers. If the center of Mars, the core of the planet, is 0, 0 on a graph, our x values extend outward from the core, while our y values extend at right angles to those x values. Our hypotenuse of every right triangle must be 20,408 kilometers, and our circular orbit can be calculated as x squared plus y squared equals r squared. Start by replacing the r with your known orbital radius of 20,408 kilometers and square it. Now you can isolate either the x or y value to find the other. Plugging in any particular value for x will return a value for y, and all xy values will fall on the satellite's orbital path. Say you are an orbital mechanics engineer. You know your c value, your hypotenuse, is 20,408 kilometers. You want to see the longer leg value, the y value for a short leg value, the x value of 10,000 kilometers. The formula looks like this. And you solve for y. Next, we'll look at the standard form equation of a circle. Orbits are one thing. Circles that are not centered at 0, 0 are another. What do we do if the center point of a circle on a graph is at 4, 7 instead of 0, 0? We need to compensate for the circle that slipped away from 0, 0. So we subtract the x value and y value from our original formula like this. This will work even when the xy coordinates are negative. The standard form of a circle is that expression we just derived from the Pythagorean theorem. We cannot use xy for all graph points. So we use other letters to identify the coordinates of the center of the circle, in this case, AB. From the standard form, you have the A and B value to find the center point, and we have our radius, so we can graph the circle. We can also use algebra to rearrange the equation to the general form of a circle. This is not intuitive, so let's plug in some A, B, and R values. Let's expand that so we can more easily see how it turns into the general form. Pull like terms together, set the equation equal to zero, and we have this. This is the general form of a circle. You can recognize it because the two leading terms will always be x squared and y squared. 
the generic general form equation looks like this. Let's do one more example. Choose between standard form and general form based on the information you have in the problem. Here is some information about a circle. Which method will you choose? We know the center, negative 4, 5, and the radius, r equals 6. Start with the standard form, which is really just a derivation of the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Expand and set it to equal 0. Combine like terms and simplify. That is the general form of the equation, derived from the standard form, which derives from the Pythagorean theorem.